talked a lot about Lorcan's heart, but now I will talk about Lorcan himself leading up to the disappearance of the Dwemer. Lorcan, also known as Shor, Shior, Lorkaj, Shizar, and Sept, is the Atada most directly responsible for the existence of Nern and is the god of all mortals. According to legend, Lorcan died long ago, giving his life for convincing the Aedra to create Mundus. His divine spark fell to Nern as a shooting star to impregnate it with the measure of its existence and a reasonable amount of selfishness. His remains are connected to the disappearance of the Dwemer. It is also believed that Nern's moons Master and Secunda are the two halves of Lorcan's flesh divinity cleaved in two. It is generally accepted that Lorcan either tricked or persuaded many of his fellow Etada into investing some of their power into a project he called Mundus, the Mortal Plane. Some Etada invested more power into the project than others, however. These were the entities that would come to be known as the Eight Divines. Those who could not or refused to participate were the Etada that would later come to be known by the Aldmer as the Daedra. The mortal plane was magically volatile, and the presence of the Aedra there both strengthened and weakened it. Once the project had been completed, Magnus, the chief architect of the project, began to have doubts. For this reason, the convention was held at the Durrani Tower. At this convention, it was finally decided that Lorcan was to be punished for his trickery in persuading the Aedra to create Mundus. His divine spark was removed and hurled towards Tamriel, and the Aedra departed to Aetherius. Opinions of him vary dramatically from race to race. Generally speaking, Lorcan is considered an enemy of the Myrrh and a patron and hero to men. The Cyrodiilic culture calls him Shizar, the missing god, reflecting the fact that he alone of the Aedra has truly died and vanished. In Myrrh mythology, Lorcan is called the Trickster, and the Myrrh do not look kindly on him. They blame Lorcan for tricking the other Aedra into giving up their divinity. This includes those who would become the Elnofe and thus the Altmer, who now blame Lorcan directly for their mortality. The Dunmer have a slightly different view of Lorcan, since they believe that their mortality is a test of their strength, and they are ultimately destined to shed their mortality. Lorcan is simply one of the obstacles the Dunmer have to overcome. However, men do not believe themselves to be descended from the Aedra. They believe themselves to be created from nothing by Lorcan, and thus owe their entire existence to him. In their opinion, Lorcan is the hero of mankind, and they object to his mistreatment by the other races. Even more so than the Amulet of Kings, the most influential legacy of Lorcan's existence was his heart. Altmer legend details the anger the remaining Aedra had towards Lorcan once Nern had been created. As punishment, Trinomach tore out his heart, intending to destroy it. However, the Aedra were present on Nern, and Nern itself was the remnants of Lorcan's body. Thus his heart was literally the heart of the world, and could not be destroyed. Instead, Ariel flung the heart down to Nern, intending to bury it forever. The heart did not remain hidden, however. During the First Era, while excavating caverns under Red Mountain in Morrowind, the Dwemer located Lorcan's heart. At the time, the Dwemer were pursuing the goal of attaining divinity through the combined effort of magic and science, and their high priest Kagranak believed that Lorcan's heart was the key. Kagranak proceeded to build a huge mechanical being, a golem named Numidium, which he intended to power with Lorcan's heart. Before he could do so, however, the Chimer attacked the Dwemer, and the Dwemer disappeared during said battle, presumably due to Kagranak tinkering with the heart. Here we are in Evenheart, right outside of the Imperial Chapel. What did I do to deserve this honor? I've got everything you guys have asked for, all four of you. Have you found and killed the witch Thalsadral and Ashi Ahi Eggmine? Oh yes, that was weeks ago. Witch Thalsadral is dead. I'm glad to see you back in one piece, since I didn't know how tough she was. Anyway, you're back, and Thalsadral's out of the way. I've been thinking, these shrine missions are getting tougher, and I thought you might like to have this old ring. I don't use it anymore, but it came in handy several times when I was younger. Take it, with my thanks, and when you're ready for another mission, speak to me again. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, can I get an advancement? Congratulations, Snow Rail, then. You have now been promoted to Disciple. Okay, so... You said you want... You've shown yourself to be a loyal di and diligent member of the Imperial Cult, Snow Relvan. As a token of our appreciation, here's a little gift that may make your labors a little easier. And please remember, check your advancement in our ranks regularly. 
Septum Ring. Okay. However, I am looking for more work from you. An acolyte named Linnaeus Ilius disappeared some years ago. He was last seen leaving Saran heading east on foot for a Xerfabel Bay. Recently, our oracle, Latia Varian, has had a vision of, sil of a silver staff of shaming, and Linnaeus Ilius has one of these staves. Here is a detect enchantment ring and 100 gold for expenses. Go to Mount Cand and find a silver staff of shaming there. Retrieve it and bring it to me along with any other personal effects you may find that belong to Linnaeus Ilius. What is a silver staff of shaming? Valetia Varen, our oracle, says that in a dream she has seen the silver staff of shaming lying in that land of burning rock under the shadow of the mountain of fear. I don't understand the mumble jumble of dream interpretation, but she tells me that an old name for Mount Cand is Mountain of Fear. Mount Cand. As she reads her dream, she believes the staff will be found either east or west of the mountain, in the shadow of the rising or setting sun. The Detect Enchantment Ring should help you find the staff. Mount Cand. Mount Cand is in the Molag Amur region. Speak to Novosi Halan, shipmaster of the Evenheart Docks. Take a ship to Tel Bernora. Oh, I've never been there. From there, you can get a ship to Molag Mar. Uh, yeah, I haven't been there for either. Those are two places, the last two places I actually haven't been. The last two settlements in all of uh, Vardenfell. From Olegmar, travel on foot north by roads, watching for signs to Mount Cand. I don't know the region myself, but I've heard it is wild and dangerous and easy to get lost in. Okay, so oh, I see Mount Cand on my big map. <coughs> Be careful, this map is getting a little old. It's hard to find these maps anywhere anymore. So I've been told. Um, yeah, Mount Cand is just north of Molagamar, which... Okay, so I put it on... Mount Cand is right there. Huh. A little bit different from my paper map. <sighs> or my old paper map, I should say. Hello. You have done the deed of a hero. It is a sign that you are meant to keep the boots for yourself, to keep them safe, and to dedicate them to the service of the Nine. Congratulations. Speak to me again when you are ready to undertake another of the Oracle's quests. Oh. I didn't even check to see if what type of armor it is. I've got two Daedric arrows. Maybe I'll save those for Dagothir if I ever live to do it. Okay, so where are these boots? Right here. They're light armor. I don't use light armor. But Julan does. Hmm. Let's try these on you, Julan. This may look ridiculous. <laughs> it almost goes with the rest of your armor, though. <laughs> I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Okay. I think you should wear them because they are the boots of the Apostle, and they're very powerful. It's a... It's an artifact. Just keep them, please. <laughs> Better him than me. I want you to go to the Dumber stronghold of Rothran and rescue Andu Sami, a Cernarian of the Oracle. She went there to recover the Ice Blade of the Monarch. Rescue Andu Sami, a Cernarian, and return to me. While you are in Rothran, recover the Ice Blade of the Monarch if possible and bring that to me also. Wait. Um. She went. What is it? But what? Where's Rotherin? Is that a, another fort? The ancient Dimer stronghold of Rotherin is located in the southern coast of Shir Gorad. It is a place of evil reputation, remote and seldom visited. I got my map for that. Oh, yeah, that's just south of Dagenfell. On the same island, which is also named Dagenfell. I know exactly where that is. Okay, so I take it that this was a Khajiiti woman. Ice Blade of the Monarch. What is that about? The evil archmage Almian Selmo of the Somerset Isles created the blade for a warrior, Thurgnar Assi, who was to assassinate a king. The assassination failed, Thurgnar Assi was slain, Almian Selmo was imprisoned, and the ice blade fell into the hands of a series of malefactors. The weapon is a claymore enchanted to cause frost damage and is rumored to pass from owner to owner of its own volition. Sounds almost like, uh, uh, Umbra. Okay. Do you? I thought you give out. Do you give out duties? Hello. Um. Yeah. What do you sell? Lots of scrolls. 
Well, septum ring. Wow, this is actually a very... I, I, I'll have to sell this ring somewhere else. I don't want them to sell it here. It won't look very good. Firestone ring? I don't need this. Detect enchantment ring I will use to find the... Uh... Oh, what was it that he... <laughs> what did he want me to... Staff of Shaming. That's right. Kay wants me to find the Staff of Shaming off Mount Cam. And there's these two guys. I would really, really, really like to get rid of these items I've been carrying around for like a month. Hello. Have you brought me the red shirt and black vest, or have you come to report your failure? Why? You're the only people that I've ever heard ask me if I've come to report failure. Do you have a lot of people that come to report their failures? Yes, I have the shirt and vest for you. Very good, Snow Rovan. Congratulations. When you're ready for your next Almoner mission, speak to me again. But before you do, you might take a look at this book. I found it helpful. Go ahead, keep it. I've learned all I can from it. The Dance in the Fire, Chapter 7? Didn't know it went that high. Okay. Well met. Just overburdening me again. What is the next one you want me to do? The Balmora Shrine is planning on a fundraising dinner at Fort Moonmoth. We will need food and refreshments. We've had generous offers of food, but we've had trouble getting donations of strong spirits. Hmm. We've determined that we need five bottles of Cyrodiilic brandy. Please make the rounds of the trade houses and corner clubs in Balmora and ask if the publicans will donate Cyrodiilic brandy. When you have the brandy, please deliver it to me. I don't know. That's... Okay, donate it. I'm afraid only Cyrodiil Brandy will do for the Fort Moomoth fundraising dinner. The sort of person who has money to give to charity turns the nose up at the local Comberry Brandy they call grief. And I'm not actually too fond of our local vintages either. Sad, but... Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, about that brandy. Like <laughs> I'll try to get it there. I don't drink it on the way. Hello. I see you have brought me five units of Scrib Jelly. Here are a Cure Poison Potion and Cure Blight Potion for you and an Alembic for your potion making. Please remind me to check your advancement in our ranks and speak to me again when you're ready for another Lay Healer mission. <sighs> well, just when you think that you're getting rid of stuff, they're, you're, oh, you're burdening me up again. Bring me five units of cork bulb for a cure common disease and restore health potions. The best place to look for cork bulb is in the Ascadian Isles and Arvel Manor in particular. The Imperial Cult has an agreement with the Ascadian Isles plantation owners that permits us to gather cork bulb. The direct route means swimming, so I'll teach you a little spell. I know cork bulb, I've seen an old one well, until I moved when I was 15. Cork bulb is a huge bulbous root that protrudes from the ground with green foliage about man high. It grows wild, but is easier to find in cultivated patches near the farmhouses of the Escading Isles. I think there's a big patch of it just north of Dren Plantation. That's on many maps. And remember, we have an agreement with the plantation owners that let us collect the cork bulb, so don't be shy. Yeah, I, I know exactly where that Dren Plantation is. Can I sell this back to you? You don't buy it. Yet you sell potions. Well, you buy Gator Skin. Uh, how about some void salts? Give me a few back. Good enough. What was this about teaching me a little spell? I already know how to walk in water, though. Okay, so you just want five units of cork bulb. Let's go. Uh, come on, Julian. That's your new outfit. <laughs> and for oh, here's a fine one. For giving you those boots, Jilan. <laughs> you can now teach train me how to block. I just heard someone say there's trouble in Imperial City and they might have to recall the legions. Wouldn't that be great? What? I didn't hear that. What did what did they say? Okay, so anyways, um, let's train in the rain. Yes, the rain. Oh, uh, other skills. Wait. Acrobatics, actually. Acrobatics, is it? You know, the best way to learn is to fall from high places. Come on, I know a great cliff. I can push you off. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, I'm going to go to Belmore and sell some of these things that they've given me. They mean well, but I'm the nine.
by the nine. Let's go sell these extra things they burdened me with. So I've sold everything, made some room in my pack, and got rid of some of the extra weight on me. Time to rest before we go out. We'll go out early. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps, but you know you've earned every ounce of your success. Good morning. An honor to be sure. It's a nice day out, I'll read a book. This is a wondrous encounter. I Yeah, that's pretty foggy. Maybe next time. Hello. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Talked to this woman for a while, so she was a little bit more friendly. I'll take a recent edition of your newspaper. Here you go. Somebody s stole the skull of Level Adrano from the Adrano ancestral tomb. The family is furious. The sad thing is, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Nothing protects our ancestral tombs from necromancers and looters anymore. Ooh. Huh. You remember that? <laughs> We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Where's the paper? Grave robber. Let's see what they have to say. The skull of Level Andrano has been stolen. The Tribunal Temple is outraged. Somebody has stolen the skull of Level Andrano from the Andrano Ancestral Tomb. Level Andrano was an important part of the Temple clergy in the Second Era. He rose to be Archcanon and was a good friend of Lord Vivek himself. Beryl Sala, the leader of the Ordinators, commented, This sacrilege will not be tolerated. If I must, I'll interrogate every outlander on this island until the criminal is brought to justice. A member of the Temple clergy who, visited, who wished to be anonymous, however, offered a different narrative to our newspaper. Obviously, this is sacrilege, and I have no doubt that it was committed by an outlander, as no proper Dunmar would do such a thing. I would ask it, though, was it not our fault, at least to some extent? We disabled the ghost fences of our family tombs so that the bones of our ancestors could power the great ghost fence. Without that protection, and without the protection of the temple's edict against widespread settlement here, such things were bound to happen eventually. Where is my... The Strider knows all the old roads blind. A bit of fog won't slow her down. Okay, well, we're going to go to... I guess we're going to go to Sejanin, and then we're going to go up to Nisus again. Why walk when you can ride? At least it got nicer How may around I help here. You? Okay. Take me north to Nisus, please. Ooh, ooh, what a boring trip. But we're here in Nisus. I feel I can truly share with you without me. Let's see. You know, this would be a quick trip if we just um, levitate over oh, everything in our way. A sincere welcome to you. I am really starting to appreciate this levitate spell. Wish I can get a better one. I, I still ha cannot use that more powerful levitate spell. So we're going to Ald uh, Velothi. I'm looking forward to this. I keep putting it off, though. Oh, you don't even need levitate to get up here. Walking is faster. I always keep that in mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh. This way. Ah. Smelly outlets. That one is blighted. Slid. Oh, it's tough. This is interesting. It's not a real cave, it's more like a den. There's a chest here. Nothing of interest. Oh, 
Oh, the way I'm going, I don't even need to levitate. Okay, so it's just after this next hill. I remember this is where the Ashlanders were keeping that woman, that Dunmer woman hostage. I had to pay them 500 septums to release her. Oop. Oop, got a snag on a root. Oh. I don't... There's a dead... Somebody's dead in there. It's a Nord. Viciously clawed dead smuggler. Interesting arrow. I'll take the arrow. What's... Take the picks, too. Yeah, the body is pretty smelly. I'm surprised some animals haven't come and eaten it yet. I think this, it weighs next to nothing. A diamond and a grand soul gem. Oh. This strong whiskey. Um, Good. Okay. The flim is okay, but it doesn't get me like Cyrodiil brandy. It's imported from Cyrodiil as well, and from a few other parts. It makes traveling a lot quicker to levitate. I don't have to go by the roads. I go whatever route I want to go. So I think um, he's right inside this place. It's late in the day. It's, it's you, isn't it? Felden Verilith. Yes, I'm Felon Verilith, uh, sort of the hitman of Aldvalathi. Do you have duties for me? Thank you for asking, Snail Railway. I normally things are pretty quiet in Aldvalathi, but Old Bluefin is back and up to his old tricks. It's time someone got rid of Old Bluefin for good. Who's Old Bluefin? He's a slaughterfish. We see around here every couple of years. He came back bigger and meaner than ever and has been hanging around the docks. Me and him go way back, but this time he's gone too far. Kill him before he puts my fishermen out of business. Okay. What do you offer for training, by the way? Block. Block. Could you train me in blocking? Thank you. Thank you very much. What an unexpected surprise. Please go ahead, Outlander. Could I get more training in blocking, actually? Yeah, I think I'm going to be hanging around here for a while. Blocking is something I really need to work on. Well, it's late. Is it possible to get a room? Hello. Welcome to the small harbor village of Eldvalathi. I'm Trevura Aranum, publican of this trade house. We rent beds. Well, I'll take a bed. Yes, we have one available. It's ten gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Yes. Very well. The bed is yours. It is a quiet day, so you can choose one of the free beds in this room. It's yours for the next day. Oh, actually, that is very, very... I got the top bunk. Very, very easy. I'll have to go hunt for it. Uh, eight hours. So that's how long I like my sleep. Otherwise, I get very cranky and tired. Tell your friends about this place. Let's go find old Bluefin. You bring me good fortune, Outlander. How may I be of service? Maybe tomorrow if it's a nice... Well, maybe after I kill Bluefin. I'll read a, one of the books I've been carrying around with me. Let's see, which ones would I want to read? War of Castle Zero. Alchemist formularily. Maybe I should just get that over with and get out of here. I'll keep dancing the fire. Try to get all the books for it. Great robber. Invocation of Azura, actually. That is one that I want to read. Hello. Welcome to Vlathi Outlander. I don't believe I've seen you around here. What can I do for you? Uh, i am come to acquire about old Bluefin, but maybe I should just go jump in the water. <laughs> Maybe one of the fishermen's fisherwomen, fishermen would know. Well, that's a small slaughterfish. Is there something you need? Hello. 
Alvalathi, you're looking at a stranger. It's not very big, as you can see. I can probably tell what you want to know. Oh, really? You can't tell me about old Bluefin. You know what? Oh. Ah. Okay, I figured the best way to find them is to get them to come to you. If that's old bluefin, that's not a very big slaughterfish. I've seen bigger. But maybe this one's just mean. That can't be old bluefin. Big wax. There's more dregs down there. I think that's everything. Just look through here. <sighs> yeah. That was not a big epic. I was expecting something the size of us. <laughs> and, and maybe even blue. Why are they called that one old bluefin? battle in the water with a giant slaughterfish that could just swallow me whole. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's not to be. Uh, I think I've got Old Bluefin. Is Old Bluefin finally dead? So, he's dead. The draggers here in town asked me to give you this drag wax if you got rid of Old Bluefin. People harvest dregs? Like fish? I didn't actually know that. Um... Without old Bluefin stirring things up, Alvalathi will be quiet again. You know, I'm almost sorry to see him go. Okay, so... Do you have any, uh, more duties? A Z-Shulk got into a mine on the trade route to Aldrun. I need someone to kill the Shulk in the Ashimanu mine. Where is this mine? The disease Shulk has been infecting Kwama and miners, so the mine's been abandoned. Kill the Shulk and report back to me. I just heard some reports of the Kaguti attacking traders along that route as well, so be careful. If you see any Kaguti near there, kill them too. It's best to start in Nisus and cross the river south of the Siltstrider. When you reach a rough trail, follow it east and south. When the trail branches south and east, take the east fork. Oh, I hate directions like this. Okay. Z shock have been affecting Kwama and uh, miners. Okay, so kill them. I kill every animal. Most of the animals out there attack me, except for the um, what do you call those things that float in the air? Anyways, uh, I can't get another training actually in block. Welcome, friend. You're Thanks. nearly a legend. I have to do that you a few bring times me every good time fortune, I come outlander. here. How may I be of service? Hmm. Not a bad looking woman. Okay, so. I think this is a short book. It's a nice day. I have other books you want to read too. Read in your own. Um, Invocation of Azura. Yeah, it's sort of short. Invocation of Azura by Sigala Parat. For 300 years, 
I have been a priestess of Azura, the Daedric Princess of Moonshadow, Mother of the Rose and Queen of the Night Sky. Every Hogatham, which we celebrate on the 21st of First Seed, we summon her for guidance as well as to offer things of worth and beauty to her majesty. She is a cruel but wise mistress. We do not invoke her on any Hogatham troubled by thunderstorms, for those knights belong to the Mad One, Shiagorath, even if they do coincide with the occasion. Azura, at such times, understands our caution. Azura's invocation is a very personal one. I have been priestess to three other Daedric princes, but Azura values the quality of her worshippers and the truth behind our adoration of her. When I was a dark elven maid of sixteen, I joined my grandmother's coven, worshippers of Molag Ball, the schemer prince. I kind of lost respect for you, but I guess if it was your mother that did it. Blackmail, extortion, and bribery are as much the weapons of the witches of Molag Ball as is dark magic. The invocation of Molag Ball is held on the 20th of Evening Star, except during stormy weather. This ceremony is seldom missed, but Molag Ball often appears to his cultists in mortal guise on other dates. When my grandmother died in an attempt to poison the heir of Firewatch, I re-examined my faith in the cult. My brother was a warlock of the cult of Boethia, and from what he told me, the dark warrior was closer to my spirit than the treacherous Molag Ball. Well, hold on a minute. When I was a dark elf, okay, so it's, you are a dark elf. This actually makes a little bit of sense to me, Boethia, but still, Boethia is not any better than Molag Ball. <sighs> Boethia is a warrior prince who acts more overtly, overtly than any other Daedra. After years of skulking and scheming, it felt good to perform acts for a master which had direct, immediate consequences. Great, I'm doing something for Boethia now, too, so... Besides, I liked it that Boethia was a Daedra of the Dark Elves. Our cult would summon him on the day we called the Gauntlet the Second of Sun's Dusk. Bloody competitions would be held in his honor, and the duels and battles would continue until nine cultists were killed at the hands of the other cultists. Boethia cared little for his cultists. He only cared for our blood. I do think I saw him smile when I, I accidentally slew my brother in a sparring session. My horror... I think, greatly pleased him. I left the cult soon after that. Boethia was too impersonal for me, too cold. I wanted a mistress of greater depth. For the next 18 years of my life, I worshipped no one. Instead, I read and researched. It was in an old profane tome that I came upon the name of Nocturnal. Nocturnal the Night Mistress, Nocturnal the Unfathomable. As the book prescribed, I called to her on the holy day, the third of Hearthfire. At last, I had found the personal mistress I had so long desired. I strove to understand her labyrinthine philosophy, the source of her mysterious pain. Everything about her was dark and shrouded, even the way she spoke and the acts she required of me. It took years for me to understand the simple fact that I could never understand Nocturnal. Her mystery was as essential to her as savagery was to Boethia or treachery was to Moleg Ball. To understand Nocturnal is to negate her, to pull back the curtains cloaking her realm of darkness. As much as I loved her, I recognized the futility of unraveling her enigmas. I turned instead to her sister, Azura. Azura is the only Daedric Daedra princess I have ever worshipped who seems to care about her followers. Molag Ball wanted my mind, Boethia wanted my arms, and Nocturnal perhaps my curiosity. Azura wants all of that, and our love above all. Not our abject slavering, but our honest and genuine caring in all its forms. It is important to her that our emotions be engaged in her worship, and our love must also be directed inward. If we love her and hate ourselves, she feels our pain. I will for all time have no other mistress. Oh. It gives me something to think about. I haven't read this book before, no. Not ever. And I've looked up Azura quite a few times when I was in the Imperial City in the library there. Interesting. Well, let's go find this mine. It's not that far away from here, I hope not. 